Here's an example. In the circuit shown, 5 milliamperes of current flows through a 1.2 kiloohm load. What is the voltage across the load? And we're calling that voltage V sub R, the voltage across the load. So we'll first write down what we are given. And we have R is 1.2K, that's 1.2 times 10 to the third ohms. We have a current I given as 5 milliamps, so that's 5 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. Now, what are we asked to find? It says, what is the voltage V sub R across the load? This voltage across the load, so V sub R. And what is a known? In other words, what is a relationship we can find between the given information and the unknown? And we can use Ohm's law. That describes the relationship between these quantities. V sub R that we're looking for is going to be the current through the resistor times its resistance. So we're ready to use that to solve the problem. We have V sub R is equal to I times R, and that's equal to the current was 5 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, that's 5 milliamps, times the resistance was 1.2 kilo ohms, that's 1.2 times 10 to the third ohms. Now, 10 to the minus third times 10 to the third is 1, so we won't bother to write that. And we have 5 times 1.2 is 6 and an amp times an ohm is a volt. So we get 6 volts, which is what we were asked to find. Example 2. Here we have a solar module for an energy source in this circuit. And it says the solar module operates at 6 volts and is connected to a lamp that has a resistance of 800 ohms. Part A. With the switch in the position drawn, what is the current I through the lamp? So part A, well, with the switch in the position shown, which is open, we don't have a complete circuit for electrons to flow from the energy source through the load and back to the energy source. They can't get through this open switch. This is a bit of a trick question, and we can just simply write that I equals zero, and that's because we have an open switch or an open circuit. So for part B, with the switch closed, so if we close the switch, which I'll go ahead and just draw it closed then, if we close the switch, now we have a complete circuit to flow from the negative terminal of the source through the load where electrical energy gets changed into light energy and then the electrons have a path to flow back to the positive terminal of the energy source. So that's true with the switch closed. What is the current I that flows through the lamp? So once again, Given that the voltage is equal to 6 volts and also that the resistance in the circuit, which in this case is presented by the lamp, is 800 ohms, we want to find the current I flowing through the load. And what do we know? Well, once again, we know Ohm's law. But we're going to use it now in the form that I equals the voltage divided by the resistance. And now we can solve the problem. So the current is equal to the voltage, 6 volts, divided by 800 ohms. And a volt per ohm is an amp, so we get... seven point five times ten to the minus three amps seven point five times ten to the minus three amps well ten to the negative three is milla so that's seven point five milliamps and that's the way we want to present the answer in example three 
we are asked, what is the resistance of a load if the voltage across it is measured as 48 volts and it carries 2.5 amps of current? So we'll start the same way. We'll write down the given information and we have the voltage given as 48 volts and also the current I is 2.5 amps. And then what are we asked to find? What is the resistance of the load? So we're asked to find R. Now, what relationship do we know between V, I, and R? Well, once again, it's Ohm's law. In this case, we'll use the version solve for R. R equals V divided by I. And now we're ready to solve the problem. R is equal to the voltage was 48 volts divided by the current was 2.5 amps and a volt per amp is an ohm and we get nineteen point two ohms which is what we were asked to find